as you know, the rule around here is you make a mess, you get to clean it up. Every day, you will be needing to clean up after your experimental work. This video is talking about cleanup when you're in the inorganic portion of the course and everything is water-based. You'll probably end up with a lot of solutions. Uh, waste from a titration needs to go into the aqueous waste bin. There'll be a funnel on top. When you're done, just pour it in. That's all you need to do. Notice that there is a full line on the uh, water bottle, waste bottle rather. If the liquid gets above this line, do not put any more in. Speak to a staff member. We will get you a fresh waste bottle, but do not overfill the waste bottle. However, once you've emptied it, this is dirty and you're going to need to start doing dishes. So that happens over at the sink. Washing, you'll probably be doing more than one flask at a time. There are taps here. This is hot and cold water. Now that I've rinsed it out, this is exactly what you think it is. It's just dishwashing soap. Add a small amount. Use a brush to clean out the inside of your flask. We unfortunately do not have a dishwasher. You're the person who's going to have to do this. Once you have cleaned it out and there's no more foam coming out, you will need to rinse it with distilled water. That's this tap here. Don't leave the tap running like this, please. This is not to happen. This is coming from a tank somewhere. We need to make it, so use a minimum amount. Fill it, rinse it a couple of times, and that is now ready to go back into your locker. It'll be dry by next week. I should also point out that there is one sink for 16 people. So you'll need to be doing the dishes all the time and don't leave it until 5 to 5. There will be far too much of a crowd here. This is also where you'll find paper towels. And you can use this for drying. But you'll also need the paper towels for cleaning up. Now. Your bench may well look like this when you're finished and ready to go for the day. The things that are clean, the glassware that is yours, the flasks and the beakers, for instance, just go straight back into your locker along with bulbs and your wash bottle. Close this off. The rest of this stuff that I've left here is not. The titration background leans up against the wall so it's out of somebody else's way. Burette and pipette need to go back. The burettes are over and against the uh, corridor side wall. The large pipettes, that's the 25s, go back to your TA station. And we'll put those away. The burette clamp, the butterfly clamp, goes into the drawer underneath along with any hot plate and close that up because other people will be using that. The retort stand does not live here. It actually lives down here underneath. Please make sure that you have cleared everything off. Once you have cleared all the glassware away, either into your locker or the drawer under the fume hood or back to the common areas, your bench needs to be cleaned. So take your distilled water, get it wet, use a damp paper towel to clean down your bench space. Make sure you're not leaving guck behind for the person next day to be dealing with. And then your distilled water can go away. When you are cleaned up, ask your TA, and your TA will come by and make sure that everything is clean and she or he will make sure that everything's been turned off and then let you go. Don't leave without checking in with your TA because she or he does need to make sure that the setup has been cleaned. And this is what you need to do when you're doing aqueous-based chemistry.